All right, we ended the last video with seeing seeing this happen. Um, I'm thinking that that might actually be from maybe deleting those things. So maybe I'm just gonna leave them here and give, give it the same old try. So from here, you go up 11, and then we're gonna drag it across with push-pull. Oh, still opened up, so whatever. It, regardless, you can just, if you connect here to here, and here to here, it should connect back. Good. So that's something you're gonna wanna see, and now these lines can go. So either way, if that opens up, remember, you wanna close it off. This, this whole thing has to end up being a solid, which ends up being really important, actually. Okay, so now we wanna make these two holes. So assume that you can cut it in half again, because everything's gonna be centered, and we're gonna actually cut that in half, too, for a good midpoint measurement spot. So it says that the center of these circles are 22 units apart. The center is 22 units apart. It also says that the diameter of these circles is 10. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure, since they're 22 units apart, I'm gonna go 11 in each direction because 11 over here plus 11 the other way is gonna be 22 units apart. It says the diameter is 10, which means the radius is five. So for the circle, I make it five enter. I do the same thing over here. I go 11 this way circle, I go five enter, and all these lines now you can just delete. These are gonna be kind of cut in half, but whatever, not a big deal. So we got that, and we can actually get rid of the circles, the inside circles themselves, and we know that it's a height of 11, so we can push, pull, bring this up 11. We got that, same thing over here, we just bring that up 11. Now what we wanna do is we wanna actually connect these. So uh, this is gonna be pretty easy but intricate use of the pencil tool. Always follow the colored line. So I followed the red line across, follow the red or that actually the kind of pink line across. Now take that, you really wanna zoom in, make sure you're clicking the right area. Click that in and now that will fill in. Same thing over here. So you follow the red line across. You should start seeing some things fill in. If you don't, then something might be going wrong. So that fills in a little bit over there. Make sure you're zoomed in, click in the right spot, and zoom in over here, click. Great. Now it's important here not to hide these lines, but to delete all the lines that you don't need. So delete, delete, delete. Even this line here, you can delete that. Any line that's there that's not really serving a purpose needs to be eliminated and not hidden. You can't hide it because if you hide it, it's technically still there. So you need to delete it. Good, we got that. This, this, you could probably, that. Everything is looking pretty good right now. There's some lines where if you delete, then everything opens up and it gets crazy. So you actually don't wanna delete all of them. Now you might see that the bottom is opened up a little bit. You really need to make sure, so kind of check on the bottom, make sure everything is closed up. Hmm. So you do want this to definitely be closed up here. And if those are open, that's a little strange how that keeps opening like that, but yeah, so we'll, we'll keep that closed off like that, not a big deal. Um, and then over here, you really need to make sure that everything possible is closed off and then delete those lines because what we do later, that's going to come into play later. So I don't think that's going to be an issue. The fact that you can see those circles, but you know, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. So now we're here, uh, we're pretty much done. Now we want to make these curves. Now the magic number for these curves is five. So you're going to go five from the edge. And then you're going to go five down. And then you just take two point arc. And you do that. So you're going to do the same thing over here. Five. You're going to go down five. And you're going to go perfect. And you do that with push pull. You push it across so that it disappears. Excellent. You can do the same thing over here. By the time I start the next video, um, even if I, I run out of time uh, with this, just assume that that's what I'm doing. So I'm going five, enter, five, enter. And by the time I start the next video, those lines will be gone. 